detective and fucking believe it, man. Well, I do. Actually, I do believe it. Newcastle are the only club in the world that could pretty much fly someone over, agree all the terms and everything, say that you're signing, Sky Sports, everywhere, stays the night on Tyneside, has a nice little night out and tucked up, goes through his medical the next day and feels it and they don't sign him. Nobody actually feels a medical when you think about it. You look at Devon Barfield when it's Stoke and they decided not to take the risk. That's the thing there. They decide. The club decides whether they're the player. We signed fucking Islam Slamani last year. He was fucked. He was injured. There's no way he passed a medical. Harry Redknapp was on B2. We talked about stories about how sometimes the players didn't even have medicals. It's all down to the club's judgement. And what's happened here is he was injured. John McCarthy was injured. Failed his medical. Fair enough. Shit happens. But then Newcastle tried to move the goalposts. They tried to say, oh, well, yeah, he's clearly not 100% fit, so let's not a few run off the wages, whatever it may be. But we obviously changed the way things were going to work, and that's why we didn't sign him. Why spend all the transfer window looking at a player that has been injured for nearly a year? He played with 30 minutes for Lazio. Ah, he's a decent player. He looks all right. Could have been a bargain. Pretty decent on FM. Quick, short player. Bollocks. You spent all the transfer window... Investing time, wasting time, probably fucking purposely, on a player that has been injured. These aren't coincidences anymore. Cue the, oh, it was too late to get him over the line. Because they've left it till four or five days of the window to sign someone trying to get in a player who's been fucked for an early year and barely played a single game of football. It's the board's fault time and time again. Fucking waste of time. Note to self, don't do a Newcastle transfer window video ever again. I was going to wait until the end of the window to do this one. To complain about the field signings, but let's be honest, fuck all's gonna happen in the next few days. Or if it does, there'll be someone absolute shite. Like the other left back who we're meant to be getting in, who was obviously second choice to an injured left back who hasn't played all year. So it'll be rough as Z lists that are coming in, if any, on loan in the remaining few days. Bollocks, there's no point in even waiting to do this video. Next time, we'll wait though until the players hold them for fucking Newcastle shit. Even though it was all over Sky Sports, even though he's actually on Tyneside, you couldn't be any closer. We were there, thought, oh, we'll get the video done. No. Newcastle, only club in the world that could cock that up. Change the mind. So, next time, wait until he's holding the shirt up. But, will anyone be holding the shirt up? Definitely one worthwhile. Alan Ron's available. Can't wait for Brighton or West Ham to sign him, to be honest. To actually strum up the money for him. Because we fucking certainly would. Fat tits certainly would. Field medicals, wages, transfer fees, agent fees, timing, hijacking. No matter the reason, no matter what's leaked from the club, it's all well and truly past any form of chance or redemption. Whatever the failure at your Cash Native Football Club is all down to one man. And that's Mike Ashley. Pissing us about, pissing Rafa about, pissing the chance of window up the wall, and pissing the chance of staying in the Premier League up the wall, and pissing the chance of keeping Rafa at this club. I mean, Rafa's away now, and he? He's got to be. If he hadn't made his mind up already, he definitely has now. The report earlier in the January window that if he doesn't get three players in that he wants, he's leaving. He can't even get his fucking Z list that he's in now. They'll be scrambling around for the bottom of the fucking list options now. Ooh, who's that again? Scratch him off. Fucking Eredivisie 2. Anybody will get him in. Hasn't played a game in fucking two years. Ah, we'll let him pass the medical knee by. He's cheaper. Get him in. Paddock stations now. They'll be scrambling around for loans. Fucking joke, man. It's just embarrassing. It's fucking... It's going to be lastminute.com. The January transfer deadline day never even does now for us, but we'll probably will say one or two. Absolutely nobody's this time round. I mean, Mike Ashley's definitely that bloke. Who forgets that it's his own mother's birthday. And he goes to the petrol station at midnight. Comes back with a Twix duo. Bottle of Powerade. And some rotten flowers. And those three fucking similarities. Is what we're going to get in players. A left back anyone's never heard of. Who hasn't had a game for two years. A fucking centre midfielder that's probably fucked. And a winger. That can't get a game for Barnet. <laughs> Welcome to the world of you guys. Nate and I mate Ashley. We're going to have to do something to get him out there, because uh, once this window closes, and if it is the case that we don't sign anyone, we need it. We, honestly, we need to start really pushing him out there, because he's fucking taking the piss now. And when Rafa walks and we've got tough fixtures coming up, it's going to be a horrible, horrible atmosphere and time to be a Newcastle supporter.